Welcome everyone back to RimWorld. So last episode we mainly did a little bit more automation. We digitized our item storage using the digital storage unit. We also improved the efficiency of some of our other automation systems like our cooker. We also built up this lab over here which I still need to connect to the power grid. So that's what we're going to do first, but this should greatly increase our people's research speed, allowing us to get through our research faster, and that's kind of my main goal today. I want to get a lot of the research done, especially from the SRTS Expanded mod. As you can see, we're researching right now, and once we get our new lab online, we'll be able to research the rest of this stuff. But I want to get up to the albatross so that we can fly around and sell our stuff off because it's much faster and it's a really cool mod. I just want to mainly explore it. Another goal is to build out the final fourth layer of our wall just to make sure that sappers won't mine through our wall and will instead come through, you know, the place they're supposed to come through. We also have the refugees from the quest that we started at the end of last episode if we go to our quest tab active tired travelers five def desperate refugees are approaching etc and the rewards are the visitors help they will work and fight for you and they might give us a possible future reward so a quick update we have almost finished the fourth layer of our wall all we mainly gotta do is this lower area and then we will be fully done there's also a little bit up here, but that should be done fairly quickly. You can just do that. And I've started reinforcing where the doors are. As you can see, I put another two thick wall and then some embrasures and more doors in front of the in, the doors right here. Just because every time an enemy raids and they like even like slightly get near these doors, they seem to attack through them. So I figured hey, we should probably build some defenses right here just so that if they decide to do that again, we can shoot them down and they will have pretty much no chance of surviving. In addition, we also finished all of this housing over here. All we got to do is put one more light in for... Come on. There we go. All we got to do is finish up the bathroom floor tiles, but for right now, we don't have enough silver, so we can't really do that. So for the most part, we've mostly... Con Completed our defenses. As you can see, we made a little bit of progress on this lower wall. We are almost done. All, all we gotta do pretty much is assemble those these walls. All of the resources have been delivered to them. So we, all we gotta do is build them up and then it'll all be completed. And that'll be our outer wall done. We've also mostly finished our outer our inner perimeter defenses, I guess. I guess you can call these what they are. Um, embrasures. These ammo crates are actually really good. They give a faster shooting bonus, as you can see. An ammo crate useful for destroying shells improves firing rate of surrounding soldiers. And I'm placing them around all of our play or all of our defenses. I already placed them in the main area. I'm also <laughs> um, building a bunch more bear traps because they seem to be very very effective. Um, let me just put a few ammo crates over here, just in case I forget. I also built up a spacer cooker which if we go to its description um, it's similar to the industrial cooker except instead of the industrial cookers level 20 or level 10 cooking this has level 20 cooking and it also can cook at twice the speed so it's pretty great. It means this one can craft lavish meals as well so that's what I have it doing right now so we have quite a few lavish meals in storage yeah 32 and it will un I guess untoggle once we get to 20 similar to our you know normal meals so we can just do this and enable lavish meals there we go and there we go we now have a pretty much impenetrable base we have four four thick layered walls all across our base and even inside where the weaker points are the steel doors we have massive defenses here each one of these granite walls has 510 health so to get through this you would have to mine a cumulative over 2,000 
I don't think anyone can get into this space. And then whenever you actually do break in, you have to deal with 106 bear traps, as well as a bunch of people shooting at you with speed buffs. So I think we're pretty pretty well defended now. And finally, we have finished researching the albatross. So let's go to... <laughs> oh, it's so expensive. Um, I, I built it a, its own landing pad, but on a second look, it doesn't look like it's big enough. Um, if we put it like that, it's fine. So, what is this thing? An aerial vessel designed to care for all of your caravanning and military needs. A good ship, but not specialized, so it's not great in any one area. It can hold one to seven people. I don't understand the military, but I don't really care about the military either. The main thing we want this to do is transport stuff for us so that we can trade. Right now, we can't afford the steel, the gold, the, we can't afford the silver. We need to get Synthread somehow. We can afford the components and the advanced components. So we have almost all of this stuff other than the silver, Synthread, and Plasteel. So I think we're going to have to send someone out to trade. We definitely need a lot of Plasteel. That's the main thing holding us back right now. Covenant of Stoway, would they have... Do you guys think they would have stuff? Let's go to the factions uh, tab. I think this is it. And then we can go to... Yeah, there we go. So, Covenant of Stoway. What are you guys all about? Are you a... Uh, there we go. Prime Counselor. It's a civil outlander union. So, they're in the industrial age. Uh, they might have... They usually work with simple machinery with advanced gunpowder weapons. They probably would have Plasteel. Where's the Empire in relation? So the Empire is all the way over here. Um, that's a problem. It's like really far away. What will you guys buy? Yeah, that might actually show us. Let's ask what these guys will buy. If we go to raw resources. Okay, they will buy Plasteel? They'll buy uncured Plasteel from... Oh, there it is, Plasteel. So we could also go the Rimmefeller route where we make Plasteel out of Synthaline and then we refine it into actual Plasteel. I don't know. We've kind of done a decent amount with Rimmefeller and I want to actually start trading. So 1.4 days to get there. Let's bring along... Uh, who do we want to bring along? Barker Browning, John Vastari, Starry, because she has her bionic leg now, so she can move pretty quick. What do we want to sell them? Um, we have quite a few weapons and such. They wouldn't really want to buy weapons, though. We could bring, I'm going to bring all the sapphires, as well as the jade. Uh, okay, and then we're bringing all that food and the insect jelly. We have 6.3 days of food. I am good with that, actually. Confirm. So, from one of the quest members of Tired Travelers, Kazumi wants to join us. Where is she? There it is. She is super immune, beautiful, volatile, and kind. So she's actually pretty decent. Her skills are really good too. Nine shooting with a double passion. Nine melee. Three cooking with a double passion. Not that great, honestly, because we have our auto cooker. But nine social, four medical, nine animals. And low plants. So she can train animals as well as do a lot of the uh, miscellaneous stuff. So I think... I think... We're gonna accept... There we go, new recruit, and then she can just keep her bedroom because it's already there. Alright, we have just arrived at Mararoon, and let's trade with them. Hopefully they have... Plasteel, they do! Okay, we have 130 Plasteel. I went back and traded the Jade out for Rubies and Sapphires. Or, I traded out for Rubies because it was too heavy. So we can get around 100 Plasteel here? I think exactly a hundred 
101. Okay, that's actually pretty great. And they have a bunch of... A Doomsday Rocket Launcher. That sounds fun. They also have a Zeus Hammer. They've got a lot of cool stuff here. We might need to come back, actually. <laughs> we just mainly need the Plasteel, though. That's the thing. We have everything else. We can buy some oranges. Um, I'm going to accept that. And then I'm going to send them back. We're going to come back again. But this time, we're going to come back with the wargs as pack animals. Because if we look at our animals tab, we have a lot of wargs. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wargs. And more on the way, too. So, like, pretty nuts. Like, a lot, a lot of wargs. Um, this is supposed to be Viper's work. There we go. So we are back at Maroon. Maroon again, trading our stuff. I'm going to trade away some of our wargs. We don't need all of them, and we just gave birth to, I think, two or three more. So I'm going to get rid of those guys. That gives us a bunch more food as well, but that's not really, you know, all that great. Um, and then I'm going to sell off all the diamonds we brought, as well as all the cloth. That's another 2,153 silver. So I'm going to buy up all their plasteel. What else do we want to buy here? Huh, we need to spend something. Wall lights. Gold. Let's buy some gold. We might as well. I'll max out on gold and then we can leave. Something like that. That's exactly perfect, actually. So, I think that's all we want here. Again, I would buy stuff like the Zeus Hammer, but it's um too expensive. So, we're not going to be able to buy it. And I think we're good like that. All right. Accept, and then uh, let's head back to our base. And if we look at our Tired Traveler's Quest, they only have around one more hour before they leave, and we might get our possible reward. Point five hours now, and I think, I don't know how they're going to leave. I guess they might just walk off the map, or they'll fly off by shuttle. Three, two, one, there we go. Refugees leaving. Okay, um, I guess that means maybe in the future future they'll give us a reward. I mean, I was kind of hoping for something immediately, but okay. So our caravan has just made it back, and I completely forgot that I queued this up, but I queued up making locust armor, <laughs> which I showed off last episode. It's really cool. As you can see, it's actually pretty costly, mainly in the plasteel department. So from that plasteel that we bought, we now have some pretty crazy gear. If we go into our item storage, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to have, huh, wait a minute. How are we supposed to, hmm, King, can you, oh no, that's a problem. Uh, how are we supposed to get it out now? Um, give me a second. All right, there we go. I just uh, I just built a storage IO port and kicked it out. So we should equip it now, and we have another set of recon armor now. Who do we want to give that to? I think I'm gonna give it to John. Actually, he has some of the better stats and the best weapon, so he's probably the best choice. So we're gonna go to storage, and then I, ha I built another helmet. It wasn't as good as King's current one. So, I don't know where the helmet is now. So, uh, I'll, I'll find it later. But, we can now fly. So, oh, look at it. So, I'm gonna, let's bring her out here. Just to watch her do it. So, in that massive AoE, she can just fly. So, like, I'm gonna turn it to first speed. So, I can just click and she'll go, oh, that's so cool. And then she can just do it five more times without having to refuel. That's pretty great. I really like that. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, I'm going to get John equipped and then uh, I don't know what we'll do next. Alright, our first threat of the day is finally here. I was kind of surprised. I was thinking we weren't going to have anyone to fight this episode. And, you know, test our new defenses on. Raid our rail railer. How come all these names are almost unreadable? But w whatever. Okay, um, 
up here and down there. Uh, what are you guys? It looks like they are medieval. Okay. All of these guys have melee weapons. And all of these guys have melee weapons as well. Uh, okay, what's this all about? Subjects from our railer have arrived nearby. Approaching from nearby angles, it looks like they want to use sappers to tunnel around our defenses. Apparently, Darcy, so it's a relationship. Squire Darcy is the fiancé of space refugee Barker. Uh, I don't know how that works, but okay. Um, let's see what they do. They said they were going to be tunneling around. So, uh, what are you... Okay, they're going to be digging. So, on the wiki, it says that a four-layered wall will stop sappers, but I guess not. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, they're digging. Hmm. How do we want to deal with this? All of our people have guns, right? It looks like Sid, they do. Okay. Yeah, okay. They all have weapons of some sort. So I'm going to allocate these, I'm going to allocate these five up here as a crossfire like this. And the rest, um, and I'll put Starry, Kazumi, and King over here to deal with these guys. Barker, you can join these guys up here. So I, I just had a, um. Uh, an idea that might end with someone getting killed. Hopefully not our people. Um, you might have remembered that last episode... How much longer? 45%? Last episode, we got um, some permits from the Empire. One of which is an orbital strike. So, um, I think you guys see what I'm getting at here. Oh, yeah, we're going to be able to get out there before they can... Okay. Um, call orbital strike. Oh, no. Um, right about there. Oh! <laughs> Look at the map! It's completely bright now. Um, you might want to hide. Oh! Oh! Oh, uh, it actually wasn't all that effective. You might want to run, John. John, oh no, John, John, run, um, chaos skip, chaos skip, come on, um, chaos skip, do it again, oh no, oh no, um, come on, cast it on yourself again, okay, that's, that's, that's a better place, we're gonna have him start running, everyone else, come assist, now, or else we're gonna have a, little bit of a problem okay he is running and gunning now he should be able to kill these people honestly by himself but oh no cat is gonna get him Drang are you still digging you are have they breached down here they're about to all right keep running John what are they doing okay they're ignoring him and instead going back to Drang I'm kind of fine with that. It looks like we are... Yep, they are starting to attack down here. So I'm going to have King stand right there. She has power or recon armor, so she should be completely fine. King, push up. All right. Yeah, okay, they're fleeing. That's kind of what was expected. How are we doing down here? It looks like we're doing fine. I'm going to bring our people down here. You can unmarshal John. You can attack if you want. King is looking like she might get overwhelmed. <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> She's just getting mobbed. It doesn't matter though. We have superior firepower, so all they're gonna do is bruise her because she has pretty insane armor. So and one last person. There we go. Pretty easily dealt with. I was hoping for one of the higher tech factions, but let's see. AJ, fast learner, masochist, jealous. You know, you're not that great. Um, nine plants. You're pretty horrible. Um, Mackie, 
construction cooking, you're pretty horrible as well. His traits are really good, but, uh, you know, that there's more to life than traits. Bio, chemical, no, he's horrible. So, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> look at John firing on the medieval people who just wanted a fully premium rim world. And of course, in classic rim world sense, um, her fiance Darcy, who tried to murder her, she's extremely upset about and will be upset about for half a year. Putting her into the major break risk because someone tried to murder her who was her former fiance. Because, you know, rim world! So it looks like we have a pretty easy quest here. Tiberius Parsos, High Stellar of the Fallen Empire, has sent us a message. Apparently, tribes people based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. He's asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. He says it's a bandit camp guarded by 11 tribes people. I'm going to accept this because it seems pretty easy. Um, okay, it didn't... Okay, whatever. Um, it should tell us where it is on the map now, right? Like, if we go to the world map. Is that it? It is it. Okay. I'm gonna... So right now, a crash shuttle landed on the map, so I'm still bringing people back. As you can see, I captured them. So I am going to heal these guys up, and then we can send a caravan out to uh, go deal with that threat. Alright guys, we've arrived at the bandit camp, and I've brought five of our people. Viper, Brown, and Kazumi, King, and John. I've also mended John and King's armor because it was fairly damaged for some reason after that one fight. But what are we looking at? I, th I think they said there was 11 tribes people. I see six right now. I'm just going to push in. I'm not all that afraid of these guys. Um, Marshal up, please. There we go. And then if we really need to, we can have King step in with her jetpack just to cut a few people off. How do we want to do this? Cut along that flank. Because we can use the stone chunks as cover. All right, they are now attacking. All right, that's one dead. I'm going to push these guys back. I'm going to... Let's see if I can bait them down. Wow, okay. I'm going to see if I can bait them into King because King is pretty tough. Um, watch this. Boom. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, High-level high tactics right there, guys. Um, go stab Zobra, please. All right, Kazumi back up. Ooh, ooh, that was pretty close, actually. I'm going to push John up, move Browning back a little bit. We're having King stab Zobra. There we go. Zobra should be dead soon. King got hit. Just a bruise. That's fine. King is dueling two people right now. Uh, it's about to become three. That's not ideal. All right. How is she doing? So they can't really break through. Okay, we just got honor. Um, oh, okay, there we go. So we want to give this to John. There we go. John is now a Praetor, which is pretty great. Once he gets back to base. That's all of them dead as well. So let's push into the loot room. Let's see if there's anything in the loot room. There's usually nothing in the loot room because the, I don't know, the camp loot usually sucks. Okay, why are you still attacking? You're just gonna die, dude. There we go, he's dead. And claim, and come in here, please. And as expected, there's absolutely no loot at all. There's a bunch of bedrolls. Alright, um, let's go back to the world map. Reform caravan. Head back to base, except... Items. Is there any items we want to bring along? Not particularly. Just bring all the food and such. Okay. Send. And we just finished Ultratech laser weapons, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see if we can make that. We can! We can make the laser sword. <laughs> it's so expensive, though. But it's worth it. We're going to make a laser sword today. Oh, that's great. And then we can also make a bunch of other laser weapons, but uh, I mainly wanted the laser sword for King because right now she's still using a plasteel knife. 
And we just got a siege as we... I finished researching Rematomics because I'm thinking we're going to go into that next just to have a more reliable power source. Right now, we're relying on oil, which, you know, it's decent, but not what I want to rely on forever. Um, we have a siege from our... Again, our Rarel, I think. Uh, I don't know how they're going to siege us, but okay. They're throwing sapphires at us. I mean... There's worse things to throw at people. Uh, Alright. They can't... So the thing is, I think the vanilla factions expanded at least for this one. They don't understand that medieval people can't build... Or, never mind, they can build weaponry like this. Okay, that's a slight bit of a problem. Who has the longest range? Okay, that's decent. Alright, it looks like Arthur has longest range. So Arthur's going to do that. I'm going to bring all of our animals into the animal safe zone. Because we don't want our wargs to die. And Arthur, congratulations. You get to run out a bunch of tribal people. Alright, we are approaching them. I wish I had the rangefinder mod. But I don't. So we're just going to kind of have to approximate. You can just fire at anyone, honestly. We could steal their mortars once they finish building them. Alright, they are assaulting. Run, Arthur. <laughs> Just run. Um, hopefully he's able to get... Don't even run and gun, please. And then we can just tell them to not hold the doors open. Do do do. Good job. 100% safe. Clean getaway. There we go. And everyone else, you might want to get over here, otherwise we're going to lose the colony. They're entering the filter point. <laughs> the traps are just killing them one by one. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we just got a infusion as soon as the guy died. <laughs> That's unfortunate for him. I might have helped him survive. Yeah, uh, this is kind of what I expected. Unmarshal. That was pretty easy to deal with when they come through, you know, the, the entrance they're supposed to come through. In addition to John reaching the rank of Praetor, the Royal Tribute Collector just came by, so we can talk to him, and we have a few diamonds and a bunch of jade, actually, to trade off, so we might as well. So I'm going to run John over there. I wish he was a little bit faster. We might need to give him some bionic legs. And then... We can give him some diamonds and sapphires. Let's also give him the uh, two prisoners we have. And what if we give them like um, 383 gold? Um, minus 383 gold. That'll give us 13 royal favor. <laughs> um, I'm down with that. So do we get the next level of quest? That's actually... Wow, okay. So we just need a few more columns. That's fine. Uh, let's put them right here. That should be fine. And then I know we're going to need the harpsichord next, so we're going to have to research that. And we can now accept the Praetor quest. There's the shuttle. Again, I love the new bestower quest chain. It's so cool, especially the effects and such. I think it's the same person every time, too. And look at the, look at their stats. That's incredible. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna send John in to go do the bestowing ceremony. We can arrest him? Uh, I think that might end badly. But there we go. Hurry up, John. Go talk to him. Cool effects. And then, boom. Praetor title gained. And he got the chaos skip. Oh, we got the actual skip ability, so that just allows him to teleport. That's pretty cool. And we also unlocked another permit point. Uh, call Orbital Salvo. That sounds pretty great. Um, Janissary Squad 2. Hmm. Hmm. What do we want to do here? I think I'm going to go for the Janissary Squad. We've seen the Orbital Strike. It's kind of cool, but... It's not all that effective at the end of the day. So I'm, I'm just going to stay with that. And how close are we to the next rank? I thought we were, like, right on it, actually. Praetor, 31 total. We're one away from the from Baron rank. Um, 
you wanna you want some more gold guys uh, you want some more gold and just like this for 67 more gold John is now a Baron wonderful so one of the power generation things from vanilla furniture expanded is this tidal generator produces electricity from moving masses of water particularly tides must be placed on water so what I'm thinking is we live on an ocean so um, I'm gonna put one right there and see what happens uh, I don't know what this will do and then we got to connect it up with waterproof conduits because you know water will otherwise destroy it I don't know how much power this produces I just thought it was kind of cool and it might be able to uh, I guess fill in for some of the chem fuel power plants because we are actually burning through oil pretty quickly so the tide generator isn't bad but it's not great either it produces 2200 watts that might just be because it's in the location that I put it but um, it's placed in an ocean where it says it does its best so 2200 watts isn't bad but for stuff that needs like 10,000 watts it's not gonna cut it and for our next research I'm gonna queue up gun turrets then we're gonna do trench warfare just because it adds a few more defensive things and after that what do we want to do after that we've done most of the research that we kind of need to do we could do some of the hygiene stuff though that's kind of boring there's more shielding and such um I know what we need to do uh, we can do plasteel plastel plasteel where is it here it is so there we go and then we can go into metal refining so what this will do is that we can turn oil into synthylene synthylene we can turn into synthread or synthamide. We can turn the synthamide into synthamide composite, which can be turned into plasteel. And to wrap up this episode, we are going to make John a Baron. And there we go. John is now a Baron. What power did you get? Far skip. Skip the caster along with anyone standing near him to a distant location. This can send people far across the planet, but only works if there is a willing ally on the other side of the planet to use as a navigation beacon. Alright, that's pretty great honestly. But I think that will about wrap up this episode. We've gone really, really long, but I think it was worth it. Today has been pr insanely productive. Mainly... I wanted to get done our albatross ship today, but again, we didn't have enough plasteel and no one was selling the plasteel, but that's fine. We got quite a bit done. I started working on a brewery over here, so that's, you know, a, kind of my side project. It wasn't finished today, but hopefully it'll be done tomorrow. We started chem fuel refining. We got John to the rank of Baron, which is pretty nuts. I upgraded our food production over here. I started work on robots, the, like these hauler base stations. Pretty much they're small robots that haul stuff around for you. We got a new colonist. Uh, we upgraded our... That was odd. Um, we upgraded how much oil we can bring in at one time. We got some new armor. We did a few quests. Overall, I am happy with today's episode. But with that said, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day and goodbye.